<laughs> All this stuff I've been talking about is for faithful children of God. If you want the Lord to bless you, you got to become a child of God. If you want the Lord to watch over you and make a way out of no way, you got to be born again. Jesus came to Nicodemus, so Nicodemus came to Jesus by night. John chapter 3, and Nicodemus said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a great teacher who came from God because nobody can do these things which thou art doing unless God be with him. But Jesus was not captivated by his, by his praise. He said to him in verse number 3, Except a man is born again, he can't even see the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus was on one frequency and the Lord was on another frequency. Nicodemus started talking that talk. Shall a man when he's old, how can a man when he's old go back into his mother's womb? Help me somebody. And Jesus said to him uh, in the verse number five, except the man is born of water and of the spirit. He cannot enter the kingdom of God. If you want these blessings of God, you got to be born. If you want to be born again, repeat after me the sinner's prayer. And there is no sinner's prayer anyway in the Bible. Preach by the Lord. Well, how can a man be born again? He doesn't have to wait for no anointing. He doesn't have to do no monkey flip. He doesn't have to go in the valley and wait until the midnight dew hits his body. That's not necessary. <laughs> but what must a man and a woman do to get on the Lord's side? Five simple things. You gotta hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Romans 10, 17. So then faith Comments by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You got to believe in Jesus Christ. John 8 24, the Lord said, Except you believe in me, you'll die in your sins. And if you die in your sin, what I am, you cannot come. And then you have to repent. Luke 13, 3 and 5, I tell you, nay, except you repent. He shall all likewise perish. Old man said, What? Preacher, I don't understand this repentance thing. I didn't have to go to the Greek. I didn't have to exegete. All right, come on. I just simply say it. If you've been beating your wife, you can't beat her no more. <laughs> oh, make it plain. And if you've been beating your husband, you can't beat him no more. I'm just looking at your sister. I don't know you from anybody else. Go ahead. So don't you think I'm beating on you? What if you've been beating your husband? If you repent, you can't beat him no more. Make it plain, preacher. He understood that. <laughs> Repentance is to change your mind from that which is wrong. That's right. Make up your mind to do that which is right. Amen. Stop drinking all that liquor. <laughs> Stop going to Motel 6. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can I preach a little while in here? I said, I don't go to Motel 6, that's too cheap. I go to Shelton. I go to the Marriott. Well, you can't go to Marriott or the Hilton. No, no! For somebody else's wife. Priest for the Lord. I'm trying to take my seat. You got to confess Christ as the Son of God. Acts 8 37. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And after you make that simple confession, you gotta go way down in the water of grave baptism. I mean way down. Don't let nobody sprinkle in the water on you. Call it baptism. Don't let nobody pour no water on you and tell you one drip of water is just as good as an ocean. You know better than that. I wish one 
gallon of gas would be just as good as a tank full. <laughs> In the old days when I went to the gas station, I used to say, fill it up. Yeah. I'm very careful about telling the man to fill it up. I don't use credit cards, so I may not have enough gas on me. Sometimes you can fill it up and it's over a hundred dollars. That's enough to give you a big one. <laughs> Baptism is a peril and why? For the remission of your sins. If you want to be saved this morning, you come by hearing, believing, repenting of your sins, confessing Christ, and bear it in baptism. Okay. For what? For the remission of your sins. Acts 22, 16. Acts 2, 38. For what? So the Lord can add you to his church. You don't join it. He adds you to the church. For what? So you can become a child of God. Galatians 3, 26 and 27. For you are all the children of God by faith. And as many of us as were baptized into Christ, we put them on. John, Mary, have you been born again? Have you been to the water? Have you been baptized? If you haven't, and you die in your sins, heaven you'll never see. If you die on the outside of Christ, if you die without being baptized into the church of Christ, you die in your sins. Amen. And Jesus says, if you die in your sins, what I am, you cannot come. I'm going to ask you to come to the Lord this morning. Come while the blood is yet running warm in your veins. I used to hear the old preachers say that, and I just thought it was preaching rhetoric. Come while you have the exercise of your limbs. Come while you're clothed in the right mind. You better come on down here before you have a stroke. Stroke will knock you out, and you become paralyzed. Dr. Richard Hooks, great gospel preacher down in Gaston, Alabama, had a massive heart attack, home by himself, got in the car trying to drive to the hospital, and the man died. You better come to the Lord before sugar diabetes puts you into a diabetic coma. Come to it before you're hooked up to machinery in the hospital and you don't know what day it is. Don't even know your name. Hello, somebody. Come to the law before you go to a rest home. And all you do is just sit there and slobber. Don't know who you are. Alzheimer's has taken your mind away. I'm not making this up. But I've lived for 74 years and I've seen a lot in my lifetime. You better come on to the Lord while you have a chance. Just because you're young, you got your triceps and biceps. <laughs> and you can do 50 push ups and feel no pain. <laughs> You're not going to be young like that forever. You're not going to be young like that forever. You're going to come while you have a chance. And if you hear this morning and you are a child of God, you've been slipping and sliding, ducking and hiding, in and out, sometime in Christmas. 
Sometimes. I come to church sometimes. <coughs> you need to repent of your sins. Lord, I have wandered far from God. But now, I'm coming home. And this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Does anybody know that God is good? Does anybody know that God has been good to you? Does anybody know that God will watch over you all night long when you slumber in your sleep and you don't know where you are or what's going on? And he protects you. He's a good God. When the praises go up, and the blessings will come.